This is the second podcast on collaboration. Um, this relates to our collaboration with Falafel Games. Following consultation with the British Council and our main partners, we decided to link up with the Beirut-based Falafel Games. Uh, Falafel Games have a strong game production set up and fantastic contacts with both illustrators, coders and game developers in Beirut and beyond. The head of games, Vincent Gossel, was formerly a student at the American University of Beirut, and so we felt the collaboration would foster the, uh, the already close links with the AUB and would enhance the work of the partnership and help grow the wider Middle East-based games industry. So it all looked good. The dialogue between the AUB and Common Word uh, and Falafel Games early on uh, revolved around the development of the rule book or the World Bible for the game, deciding upon what setting the game would have and deciding upon what form the game should take, whether it should be 2D or 3D, and whether it should be a role play game or not, and if it were, what type. After some weeks of experimentation, consultation, and testing, we decided to locate the game in the prison camp-like landscape that was developed in the novel One Drop, mainly because all the necessary dramatic components were in place, uh, along with the gameplay potentials. We had a discrete area, as in games like Fortnite, in which our characters could roam the camp. That area would be divided up into different places, buildings, underground areas, where the underground were, the laboratories, the farming areas, housing areas, and we have built in dangers, uh, drones trying to sap prisoners' mental health, guards, zombies, watchtowers, the fence, and the architecture of the prison camp, a deserted airbase, was suitably inhuman, and uh, we felt that would augur well for inspiring the visual artists who would do the landscape work. And, um, Within this terrain, we also had a ready-made end game or goal to escape. And to achieve this, we felt that we could uh, allow coding credits to those who were able to overcome the various obstacles that the game set uh, them to overcome. Uh, and that would be, you know, the uh, get past the, uh, the drones, uh, the uh, attacks from scavengers, the uh, uh, zombies, the uh, avoiding the watchtower um, uh, surveillance, all these things. Uh, once they gain enough credit to get past all those elements, we knew that the big one would be then to get past the mainframe computer that was controlling the entire camp. Uh, so we felt we had the uh, the antagonist and the protagonist all lined up really well. Uh, uh, in terms of the protagonist, we had our characters Axel, June, Marty, Maud, Mara, Lena, ready made, and we also had uh, many non-playing characters. Uh, the underground giving instructions and many of the background characters that we could derive from the world building that we'd done in the development of the novels. Uh, so. That was the setup. Uh, moving into further details, after some deliberation, we decided this all mapped best onto a 2D roleplay tower defense type game. And uh, I think that conclusion was arrived at thanks to uh, some extensive work by Falafel Games in setting out what the benefits and problems were in going forward with each format that was proposed. Uh, the learning curve for our partnership uh, was then getting to grips with the aesthetic and the um, finance, the cost implications of the format uh, that we chosen. There were sometimes dizzying number of permutations available. And we had uh, a series of meetings before a consensus emerged. Uh, with that, we moved on to the uh, development of the RPG, the role play game characters on to the question of uh, how we could cost those characters and what their attributes would be and how they all had points of distinction. Uh, they had very different capabilities. Uh, 
and evolving that was a matter of uh, again communication and collaboration between visual artists in Beirut, uh, Falafel Games, and uh, AUB and Common Word. Uh, so, all in all, where are we at now? Well, there's been a lot of back and forth with the character designs. We've got the world pretty much uh, agreed, and we've got the game dynamics agreed. Uh, we're starting to look a little at some of the coding aspects. Uh, so I would say we're moving along with, with, with assuring clarity, even if we're not moving at warp speed, uh, it's all looking good.